don't you know, pump it up. You got to pump it up, don't you know, pump it up. You got to pump it up, don't you know, pump it up. You got to pump it up, don't you know, pump it up. You got to pump it up, don't you know, pump it up. You got to pump it up, don't you know, pump it up. guys i ate wait i ate way too much cadoba <laughs> like an hour ago <laughs> so i'm exhausted man. i i've never you know i got cadoba today and it's never been this big and i ate it and i'm absolutely exhausted i also had a sandwich like not too recently either so <laughs> so i'm a little bit tired uh what's going on guys what's going on guys uh we'll talk some bitcoin today um i hope you didn't panic today um i hope that you kind of just held and, and, and kind of just weathered the storm today. And guys, you cannot let them shake you out, bro. Do not let them shake you out, okay? These volatile days are the days that they shake out the weak hands, okay? And altcoin panic sellers will cry. Like a couple weeks ago when, we, when I made this title, altcoin panic sellers will cry. Altcoin panic sellers will cry again, <laughs> okay? So uh, let's talk about it. Let's get it, man. But uh, Bitcoin... You know, it put a little scare in people today. You know, it put a little scare in people today. I wasn't around too much. I was poking around, you know, Twitter and poking around the Discord to see what people were saying. And man, people were pooping their pants again. <laughs> it never fails. So uh, let's talk about it. So um, as always, if you're new to the stream, make sure you smack that subscribe button and press the like button if you want to. If you like me, if you don't, that's okay. You can hit the dislike button. I don't mind, you know. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, shout out to Skillful right off the bat. Skillful came in with five gifted memberships right off the freaking bat. Strap up. Look, we're, we're going, going to the moon. Homie, man, homie. Thanks for coming in, Skillful. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you, man. Anyways, um, the first thing I want to say today, guys, is uh, pay attention to the altcoins that held up good on this Bitcoin dump. So there was actually a couple altcoins that actually pumped on the dump today. Okay. And pay attention to those. I think you guys can know which one those were. Um, your Solanas, your Doges, your Nears, your Fets, right? Your Pepes, right? Pay attention to the coins that were strong on the dip today, okay? Uh, that's the first thing I want to say. But um, what we need to do is, let's look at Bitcoin real quick, right? So what I think is interesting about Bitcoin is um, the last, these last two big dumps, right? All it really was, when you when you look at it on the daily time frame, all it really was, as you can see, this white line is the previous all time high right here at sixty nine thousand. All it really was, right? If you go back and look, 
it was two retests, right? So you had one big dump, retest of the all-time high, held, got a bounce, came back up. Second dump, hit retest of the all-time high, and got a bounce. So all we really did was back test the previous all-time high and actually flip that into support now. So now we have two tests of the all-time high where you saw big buys coming in and holding that up. So um, that's that, that's showing some strength for Bitcoin at that at that 69k um, 69. Let's go with 69k um, support level. So um, all is good for Bitcoin, right? Just kind of chop suey, volatile price action for Bitcoin, pumping up, down, up, down, up, down. But really just staying in this like 69 to 73k range. Uh, shaking out the traders and then shaking out the retail investors. That's really all it's doing right now. So, um, you know, I don't think there's anything too crazy going on right now. I, I think you just got to continue to zoom out and, and pay attention to the high term time frames, as we said. And and uh, as long as we get a weekly close above, you know, that 69,250 level this week, right? We're, we're looking at a weekly close breakout of the all time highs. So, um, that's we're gonna watch out for the weekly close, but everything's all good, man. Everything's all good. Nothing too crazy going on. Um, that the patient will be the people who make the money. The impatient will be the ones who sell the lows and buy the tops. Okay, so have some patience, man. Have some patience. Um, that's all you got to do in this market, really. You don't like I always say, take your two hands, stick them under your ass, and have some patience. Uh, now, um, we're gonna continue to talk about what we've been talking about. Uh, despite today, you know, people's people's narrative changes every day. You flip from bullish to bearish every single day. I think we're back to that mode where people are, oh my God, now everyone's bullish. Three hours ago, everyone was bearish. Six hours ago, everyone was bullish. Just stick to your conviction and don't change your conviction based off the hourly candles. You're going to kill yourself doing that. All right. But now some of us aren't that lucky. Okay. Horse guy today <laughs> didn't have a good day today. Let's hear from our good friend, horse guy. This is manipulation, brother's pure finest. Manipulation. What are these dumps? I open up trading view. I'm feeling good. Bitcoin, 73,800 this morning. I was feeling good. I was playing the pump it up song. Yes, this was me this morning. This was me. These idiots selling the Bitcoin and I dumped two. I sold all my Bitcoin right here at 68,500 because I am an idiot. I am a panic seller. Oh my God, man. I will never grow up. I will always be a pony, not the horse. <laughs> yeah. All right. So horse, horse, horse guy didn't have the best day today. And that's, it's okay. It, 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 it's, it's okay. That horse guy didn't have the best day today. All right, so just just want to give you guys an update on Horse Guy. You didn't you didn't have the best day. Uh, shout out to I Is Red. He said thanks for the daily calm reassurance. It's not even calm reassurance. I think you guys who have been in the market since 2021 should be used to this. Uh, you should be used to the big ups and downs. Now it's gonna get worse, and 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 I'm, I'm telling you guys right now, the higher Bitcoin goes, the more volatile swings you're gonna have because you're the the thing about Bitcoin is the higher it goes in price the more emotional people you have in the market. So you're going to see bigger pumps and bigger dumps because you got emotional newbies in the market selling every dump and pumping every pump, longing every pump, shorting every dip, and it causes just absolute madness in the chart, right? So just be used to these big swings. It's going to be normal. Um, I think what we need to do now, okay, and, and, and it's going to continue just to be what we focus on. Focus on the weekly, okay? Like we talked about yesterday, let's ignore everything that happened today. Bitcoin's at the same price it was yesterday. <laughs> Through all this pump and dumpage, the same price it was yesterday. Let's focus on what we were talking about yesterday because nothing's really changed, right? What are we talking about? So let's pull up the Pi Cycle Top Indicator and, and see what we were talking about. So we were talking about yesterday before the madness that we had today, which was, today was a crazy day, man. It was actually pretty crazy. Like <laughs> This volatility is actually kind of insane. But um we talked about if Bitcoin closes the weekly above the Pi Cycle Top Indicator, okay, which it technically did last week. I want to see like a more convincing one. So 
Uh, if we close this week above about 70,000, you know, give or take, it, it might be tough. We'll see if we can do it. We're about 1,500 bucks above that at the moment. Um, just remember, and, and, and this is not, this, we're just going based off what's happened in Bitcoin cycles in the past, okay? We've seen Bitcoin from the break of its all-time high, okay? to its next weekly peak, not hourly peak, like it had today, its next weekly peak, be about 100% move, okay? So from break of all time highs in 2020 to its next weekly peak was 110% move, okay? That's what happened in 2020, all right? If we go back to this market, we saw break of all time highs right here back in March of 2017, actually, well, April 2017, and we saw from that point of that break to the next weekly high was 140% move, right? So we've seen about, you know, uh, 100 to 140% move after the break of all time high to the next weekly peak for Bitcoin, okay? So once again, like we always look at with these statistics, we looked at it with the break of the golden pocket to all time high. We looked at it, how long it should take for Bitcoin to break the all time high. Those were pretty correct. So what we need to focus now on now the high term time frames is um, in the previous cycles when Bitcoin broke its all time high at a weekly close, we got to still got to close above it. Don't get me wrong. But on the weekly close, we saw about 100% move to its next weekly high. Okay. So um, once again, don't, I wouldn't say you hold out for that, but make sure you're taking profits on the way up. Okay. If you haven't already, you, if you were buying down here, you probably should already be taking the little profits, not going to lie. Um, but, you know, that's what we see in the past, okay? So, once again, ignoring all this wacky shit <laughs> that gets you feeling emotional on these hourly time frames um, and focusing on the weekly, right? That's all we should be focusing. I know it's not fun and sexy to talk about that, but really, that's what you should be doing, right? Uh, Aladim, what's up, homie? Rudy said, Jordan, stop ignoring me and tell me why the ETC fractal... Dude, the ETC fractal... It served its purpose. <laughs> I don't think the ETC fractal is valid anymore, homie. But we'll, we'll look at the ETC fractal. I, I, I don't, I don't, um, I don't think it's valid anymore. But we'll look at it though. Okay. So, so that's BTC. Now, um, these little shakeouts for Bitcoin. I think what it is. I don't really think it's like. It's not ETF people selling Bitcoin, right? You're still seeing ETF inflows. What I think is happening and why you're seeing Bitcoin kind of drop, I think you're actually seeing native crypto people selling Bitcoin and, and accumulating altcoins, okay? And I, I think it's kind of evident because what we saw today actually is on the Bitcoin, on this little Bitcoin little dumperoni here, you actually saw a lot of altcoins fall less than Bitcoin which almost never happens on these big moves down. You almost, you always see altcoins get wiped like 20% on these big ass, like Bitcoin dumps 7%, you usually see altcoins get freaking smashed. You really didn't see that today. You saw most altcoins maybe down three, four, five percent at most, less than Bitcoin, which I think what you're gonna, what you're seeing now is crypto native people who are buying Bitcoin lower, not the ETF buyers. They're gonna stay in Bitcoin, but the native crypto people maybe taking some profits on Bitcoin and sliding those into altcoins. And I think this is this is this is what happens at every cycle point. Okay, people get super horny on Bitcoin, which I understand. I'm horny on Bitcoin too. <laughs> I'm horny on Bitcoin too, fellas. Don't get me wrong. Like my, my, my penis is like this. <laughs> when it comes to Bitcoin, don't get me wrong, fellas. But I think you're going to see that, that, that shift into the altcoin market, right? So, and we saw that today, right? Strong coins coming in, right? So Bitcoin dumped near up 12%. Pepe up 11%, Fed up 9%, right? Um, Solana, which is obviously uh, this cycle's you know coin to talk about, is up 7% today, right? Doge up 5%, right? You would never usually see this on a day where Bitcoin wicks down 7%. You would usually see everything down. That wasn't the case today, and I think that's 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 the shift that's happening in the market right now. Okay, so once again. The altcoin panic sellers and the people being impatient with altcoins, I believe will be crying in a few weeks. Just my personal opinion. Uh, based, just based off previous cycles, okay? So yeah, that's that. 
Uh, Bitcoin almost back up to 72K after touching about 68K. <laughs> like, like, literally, like, when was that? Like three hours ago. <laughs> crazy, man. Dude, these dumps and pumps are legit crazy, dude. These dumps and pumps are crazy, man. It's it's some crazy shit, man. It's some crazy shit, man. But yeah, guys, I'm still, I'm, I'm, dude, I'm horny. I'm horny on Bitcoin and everything, dude. <laughs> Let's go, man. Sell it all now before it crashes. You heard Chewy. You heard Chewy, man. Um, all right. So, so that's what we got there. I'll, I'll go over some of the super chats in a second. Um, but, but yeah, man. So the other thing is, let's go check out total three real quick. Um, this is the total three chart guys. Um, <laughs> once again, focus on the weekly, do not get caught up on the hourly time frame. Weekly is still bullish as shit for total three. Okay. It's not even at a resistance point. Okay. Um, so total three, this is the weekly chart. Weekly candle is ridiculously bullish. Weekly chart is ridiculously bullish. I think total three is on its way to all time highs, uh, quicker than most people think. Um, I think we're gonna see this get to all time highs a lot quicker than people think. And it's just, just, it's just that. <laughs> it's just that. Now, we've seen Bitcoin, how's ETH doing, right? ETH today, actually, let's go look at ETH real quick. ETH got hit a little bit more hard than Bitcoin. Now, the thing is, and we're seeing, we're seeing this play out just like last cycles, guys. We're seeing this play out. How did last cycles play out? We saw Bitcoin smash all-time highs first. ETH smash all-time highs second. And then everything else, once you see ETH break that all-time high, dude, everything else just rips up, okay? We've looked at this. We've looked at this a million times. You guys get it by now, <laughs> right? I think you guys who are actually like somewhat logical can, can understand what I mean when I say this, okay? Where is it's a cycle right bitcoin eth everything else and you're seeing a play out okay um just and i said you just gotta have the patience to get through literally during the bull market all you gotta do is have patience you don't need to be flip-flopping every day and, and be doing all this fun shit all right so um that's that man that's that other than that um not too crazy of a day really um even the even some of the altcoins like that were down a lot I mean, we're talking four or five percent. Like, <laughs> that's a pussy drop. Honestly, it's a pussy drop. And most things are like down one, two, three percent, to be honest, if not up. So, um, but good day for some stuff, man. Nears is freaking killing it, bro. It, almost nine dollars for near. Shit, man. Like my <laughs> my my target was thirty bucks, right? Thirty bucks was like kind of my my all time high. Like target for this cycle, but man, I think I might be, I might be shortened it a little bit. <laughs> I'd be shortened a little bit. Fet, I thought this was gonna pull back a little bit more, but damn, man, shit's holding up like a rock. Still sitting up there at three bucks, but uh, Pepe, dude, I think I think Pepe is ready to rock and roll. If you didn't get if you didn't catch some Pepe on this little pullback right here, I don't know what you're doing. Just pick up some frog, bro. <laughs> pick up some frog, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, the more stupid you are in the cycle, the probably the more money you're going to make. The more stupid shit you buy. All right. Pepe, I think it is ready to rock and roll. Pepe made a new high today. Uh, Doge, the more stupid shit you buy, I think the more the more money you'll make. Doge, um, good stuff. Link was up today. Ship was up today. Dot was up today. I mean, you had a lot of things up today. Right. <coughs> Who are we in here? We're going to pump, folks. <laughs> Shout out to We're Dale. going to 100K tomorrow. <laughs> Shout out to Dale out here. Um, who we got here? Anderson, I said I got some cocaine Inu, dude. Stupid shit. <laughs> stupid shit. Even that butt coin Kulo is killing it. Yeah, man. The 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 the, the Kulo coin. Um, who we got in here? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hoffs is in the house. Shot to Hoffs. Where's Hoffs? Strap up. We're going to the Where's moon. Where's the homie Hoffs? You know, you know, you know we got to play for Hoffs. You know we got to play for Hoffs. Hoffs' favorite song, bro. 
I got you. Here he is. Let's do this. Say make money, money, make money, money, money. Make money, money, make money, money, money. Uh, money makes the world go round. I'm the talk around town. Remy gave me the sound. Fat pockets. I need that Skrilla on the Rilla. Fat pockets. I need that Skrilla on the Rilla. Uh, money makes the world go round. I'm the talk around town. Remy gave me the sound. Fat pockets. I need that Skrilla on the Rilla. Fat pockets. I need that Skrilla on the Rilla. Uh, Survival of the fittest, you can sink or swim. I've been broke, I ain't never going back again. I need some street notes, some cheddar, and a stack of ends. I need a bowl of dough, I don't need no Facebook friends. I need a pack of them snaps, a handful of fitting wops, some rubber band on my green backs. Look, dog, don't be playing with my paper. I need every red cent, that's why I brought my little scraper. <laughs> shout out to Bobby, shout out to Hoffs. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get serious. Let's get serious. All right, let's check out. Uh, let's check out some other stuff. So, um, today, like I said, we're back to the night stream. So we'll, we'll, we're going to talk about some a lot of a lot of stuff today. But obviously, I want to stick with Bitcoin first. Have patience, guys. It's okay. Um, as always, that and just know this, right? Like, yes, I'm bullish, but I also know at any point, just know Bitcoin can have a pullback at any point. Okay, pullbacks are normal. It is what it is. Okay, um, just to give you guys a hypothetical, right? And you know. Once again, we don't know when short-term pullbacks are going to happen, okay? Now, I don't think it's going to happen right here. I personally don't think it's going to happen right here because we've actually never, I guess, how, how should I word this? We've we've never actually seen Bitcoin besides actually 2021 is the is 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 sort of the the exception, but we've never seen previous all-time highs, like previous cycle all-time highs broken okay on weekly closes and then gone back below them okay we've never done that in previous cycles now maybe this time is different it could be different right um if we just look at previous cycles we've never closed above right and then had a significant like close significantly above and then gone back below right whenever we've broken on a weekly close we've continued higher so um just know that's how previous cycles have went. Doesn't mean that has to how it be now, right? So just to do a hypothetical, we've talked about this a few times. Every single pullback for Bitcoin in this bull market has been in between 20 and 22%, right? Now we haven't had one of those. We, last one we had one of those was January, okay? Um, right, and, and you guys know this. We've looked at this a million times, right? Uh, this was 20%. This was 22%. This was... 20% and this was 21%. So at any time we can get one of these 20, 20 to 22% pullbacks, but these seem to be like the normal pullbacks of this cycle so far is these 20 to 22% pullbacks. Just to do a hypothetical, right? And just know like these at any time, like Bitcoin can pump to 100K and then get a 22% pullback. Bitcoin can get a 22% pullback right here. Who the frick knows, right? So let's just do a hypothetical. Let's say this 74K level was the top local top and we went down let's say 22 percent okay that would put bitcoin right around about fifty-seven thousand five hundred. um if that was the local top now i don't think it is me personally i don't think it is um but if it is you know 50 set what was it 50 22 percent was about um fifty-seven thousand five hundred was the 22 percent pullback level so you know that that could happen anytime. Just know that, um, but realize that pullbacks in an uptrend are totally normal. Okay, um, but anyways, besides that fact, we always got to make sure we do that. So, uh, besides that fact, let's go look at our crypto bubbles because we love the we love to look at our crypto bubbles. Pepe, eleven percent. Whiff continues to kill it. Twenty point six, dude. If they actually put whiff on the, um, <laughs> someone's gonna put whiff on the freaking uh, on some building. Okay, Soul seven percent, near thirteen percent. Fed, right? Wild, Conflux, Aptos, um, but mostly a red day, right? Mostly a red day. Some big gainers, but then some small losers. Not really any huge losers today. I think the <laughs> today was a slight overreaction in general. Um, most things down like low percentage points. So uh, not too crazy of a day today, honestly. 
besides some actually decent gainers in here, uh, which was good. Now, uh, let's look at some of our top signals. So obviously Coinbase, number one trending app. That's what we wanna see, or we don't wanna see if we're bulls. Uh, the bears wanna see Coinbase move up. Coinbase still 149. So, which makes sense, right? Um, on the big red days, people are gonna get pissed off. No one's gonna be downloading Coinbase on a day that Bitcoin's dumping, okay? So <laughs> obviously this is gonna slide down on a day where things go red, right? So still 149, right? And even, where's crypto.com? I'm also paying attention to crypto.com. Uh, where is it? Where's crypto.com? Sorry, it's somewhere. Crypto.com, okay. Maybe I'm just blind and I don't see it. The other day it was somewhere over here. Hello? Crypto.com? Oh, here it is. Crypto.com is actually number 89. So I think we need to we need to focus on Crypto.com and Coinbase. Because actually Crypto.com is actually higher than Coinbase. <laughs> Which is, I think it's interesting actually. Um, so we need to watch Crypto.com. Because this one's moving up actually faster. Number 89 on Crypto.com. Crypto.com is killing it right now. So shit, um, 89. So we're gonna watch both of those, combination of both of those uh, going forward. So that's what we got, but uh, even Robinhood, Robinhood I think is at 177, right? So just, just, just keep in mind that three weeks ago, none of these were even in the top 200, okay? Now all of them are, um, and these are gonna continue to move up the higher that Bitcoin and, and all coins go, right? So uh, that's right, I think we're good there. I, I don't think there's anything to be once again, overly dramatically worried just yet. Um, obviously, Bitcoin is bullish. It's going to be euphoria. But I think for the old coin market, it really is not that like massive euphoria yet. Pie cycle top, we're above the pie cycle top indicator, right? Typically, that's a good time to take profits on Bitcoin, right? So this is typically a good time to ladder out on Bitcoin. Take profits on Bitcoin on the big Bitcoin pumps. If Bitcoin pumps to 75K tomorrow, take a little off the board. This is typically a good time based off history when Bitcoin gets above this to start laddering out of Bitcoin, okay? Just based off history, right? So doesn't mean the top is in for Bitcoin. The top comes in typically when these cross, which they're nowhere close to crossing yet, but taking a little, maybe like start the laddering out when Bitcoin's above the blue moving average, okay? Um, so that's what we got there. Once again, those are the two I really care about. Um, Google Trends, I actually saw, what the frick happened here? <laughs> Who dumped this shit? <laughs> Dump it. Dump, Dump it. it. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck happened to Google Trends? Shit, man. Let's actually type in um, buy Bitcoin. What the heck? What's going on, man? Are they manipulating this? Buy crypto. Whoa, okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna refresh. What is going on with this? Is it everything? Let me let me just type in horse. What the heck? Alright, go <laughs> Google Trends I think is broken because even <laughs> even horse guy goes to zero. Horse goes from 70 to zero. Look at horses, man. I, I think people are losing interest in horses. Look, horse. The search term horse has been in a slow decline since 20, 2018. Wow. So people are, are losing, losing interest in horses. <laughs> I think I think, uh, I think Google Trends is broken right now. Okay. So <laughs> we can't look at that. Google is down. They're in here watching. Oh. Um, it's, it is manipulation. Bullish on horses. <laughs> Short horse. Yeah, man, people are losing interest in horses. I guess that I guess it's just not a popular animal anymore. You can see the slow decline. Okay. Um, anyways, like I said, I, I don't think there's once again, just going off previous cycles, which I like to do. I don't think there's any reason to be overly worried just yet. Relax. Go pick your nose and put it on the wall like Vitalik does. Okay. Um, <laughs> and actually, you know, hold on. So just see, see Vitalik right now. This is Vitalik right now. He's probably at home picking his nose, putting his boogers on the wall. Do you think he cares what the hourly chart does on ETH? 
Look at him. Look at him. Look at his hair in the back. My hair does that too. It's actually kind of dope. See the hair in the back sticking up? Like a chicken? My hair does that too. Do you think he cares what, what, what Ethereum does on the hourly chart, fellas? He doesn't give two shits. He's looking at that weekly chart saying, shit, ETH is about to break all time highs. That's all he cares about. Okay. Um, no, but in all seriousness, no. In all seriousness. Um, happy, he's happy and clappy. He's happy and clappy. He had said, I have a new friend who bought in the bear market but needs to sell his crypto in one week. I don't know what to tell him. He asked me for advice. He needs to sell his Bitcoin in one week, but he bought in the bear market. Hey, listen, he's going to... If even if he sells now, he's still going to outperform ninety percent of people. Why? Because he's selling some. <laughs> I'm being serious. I'm being serious. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think. Listen, like if he needs the money, real life comes first. Real life comes before crypto first. Okay, so if he needs the money, yes. If he sells his coin, might five to ten x from where it is now, and he might be salty looking back at it. But he needs the money, man. I mean, look, what is he going to do? <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be homeless while he watches his, his cryptocurrency go up <laughs> you know what i mean like if he needs the money take out the damn money man only invest what you can afford to lose because nothing's guaranteed but crypto could dump the zero tomorrow right and 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 just know that that's totally totally a possibility <laughs> oh lord prove your hair does that oh i got you here we go ready Oh, so that's not going to do it right now, man. Oh, come on. Only geniuses can get their hair like that. <laughs> Ask Maj. Maj, does my hair stick up in the back like a chicken? See? Only geniuses get their hair to stick up in the back. Like my towel. Uh, <laughs> yes, be homeless. Embrace your wealth. <laughs> be homeless. Okay, 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 okay. Um, all right, enough about that. What did we not talk about today? I think we talked about pretty much everything. Let me just quickly go through some super chats and then actually we'll look through some alts. Um, look through some alts because I, I think what we should do today is look at look at alts that sh can be performing strong, right? Let's let's look at a lot of Bitcoin pair charts today. I, th I think we, we, we've looked at a few, but I think we should look at a good amount of them. Um, once again, guys, I think the biggest lesson that I've learned is in a bull market, guys, in a bull market, every every altcoin will go up in USD value, okay? So every altcoin will go up in US dollar value. It does, it, it, an orangutan can pick an altcoin, it's going to go up in USD value, in value. The, the, what, the altcoins you want to find are the altcoins that go up against bitcoin okay the old coins that go up against bitcoin those are the ones that you want to find those are the ones that really matter okay so i think well this is going to be for a lot of people who are still buying people that still want to add full transparency i'm not buying any more crypto i've, I've accumulated during the bear i'm happy with my bag full so full transparency i'm not buying any more crypto but for the people that are and want to I'm not advising you to do that. You guys do what you want to do. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll look at some alts that look strong against Bitcoin. Every altcoin will go up in USD value. Remember that. All right. So, but before before we do that, before we do that, let's. I'm so back. Four new tires, oil change, new brakes. Haas, let's fuck. Let's let's fucking go, baby. Haas. Don't let anyone spread fun on you, bro. Don't let anyone tell you this, Hoffs. Basically, Bitcoin is clearly a scam. Cryptocurrency is clearly an idiot with no common sense. And scientifically speaking, according to a study at the Bank of Canada, more people who are fina financially illiterate invest in Bitcoin. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. Don't let anyone tell you off, Hoffs. That's dope, though. That's dope. That's dope. Uh, all right. Uh, shit. Let me go over here. Yeah, once again, man, if your friend needs the money, tell him to t He doesn't need to sell everything. Maybe sell half. But if he needs all of it, pfft, he better sell all of that shit, man. <laughs> all 
Uh, Beats, I should move profits out of Seoul or wait till all-time high. I'm not a big fan of moving moving coins around, bro. I, I, I A lot of people like to take profits on this coin and move it into this coin and go into that coin and do it. I'm not a big fan of that, man. I'm not a big fan of that because remember, a lot of people don't take into account, okay, when they got a coin that moves up, right? They sell it. Dude, you got to you gotta pay taxes on that sell, okay? And then you throw it in another coin, all right? And, and it, it's, it's just, it's, I would rather myself hold something, okay, and just ride the ups and downs, okay? And take profits on the big up days, right? Take profits on the big up days and ride the ups and downs rather than ride the one that's pumping, shift it into another one, ride that one. You can do that. Some people do that really, really well. I'm not good at doing that. So I, I personally don't do that. I just like to buy the coins that are strong against Bitcoin, altcoins that are, are, are that have consistently outpaced the Bitcoin and just let them ride, man. Let, let your winners ride. Let your winners ride, you know? But you can do it if you want to. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> what typically happens is, is you're gonna sell soul and soul is just gonna continue to moon. You're gonna be like, why didn't I, why didn't I just continue to hold soul? You know? But, uh, thanks man. Daniel Spath, you know anything about the BlackRock futures selling Chainlink and Solana 10X more than the current spot position? I have no idea, bro. I have no idea. Sounds like some crazy shit. I actually saw today, um, I saw something today, guys. I I should have had it for the stream. I saw something today. The reason why, well, one of the bigger reasons why Bitcoin actually took a big dump today was there was actually a big hedge fund that got wrecked today trying to... Um, trying to like trade in between MicroStrategy and Bitcoin and they got freaking wrecked and they had they had to sell like a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin today. Um, I, I, I saw I, some someone was talking about it today. Um, I should have had it for you. But like some hedge fund got absolutely destroyed today. A billion dollars. <laughs> and they had to they had to liquidate all their Bitcoin because <laughs> they were being greedy. Just like we talked about. They're trying to go in between MicroStrategy and Bitcoin and they got liquidated doing something. Because they're trying to go in between shit instead of just saying, you know what, MicroStrategy and Bitcoin are bullish. Let me just ride them. Nope, they're trying to jump, 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 jump. They get on a dump like this. Boom. Gone. Out of here. Psycho Pro said, today's inflation report shows we are in a recession. You think so? I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it does. I, I, I've learned not to pay attention to the macro shit. The macro shit... Watch the charts. Don't pay attention to the macro stuff. All of 2023, it was a, reset, a recession, recession, recession. That never happened. Markets like was like the, one of the most bullish years of all time. <laughs> right? So I've learned not to listen to the macro shit. Macro shit is honestly, watch the charts. The charts will tell you what you need to know before the macro shit does. Um, real rugged. I didn't know the horse guy was Indian. No, he is not. He is Italian. <laughs> <laughs> He's my brother. He's Italian. How dare you call him Indian? I am not Indian. Are you serious? I am not Indian, man. I cannot make chicken tikka. But I can make I can make a mean chicken palm, no? Yes, I mainly eat hay, but if you want me to cook you up some chicken palm, I can do that. But I am not Indian. I am Italian. How dare you call a horse guy Indian? Jim said, please, what prices do you think Doge and Pepe will reach before taking? Dude, I have no clue. I have no clue. Just, if you're in Pepe and Doge from lower prices, once again, on the big pump days, just take a little off the board. I, I have no idea where Doge and Pepe are going to go, nor does anyone have any idea where Doge and Pepe are going to go. <laughs> right? I, I can make stupid predictions. Like, I actually do think Pepe will flip Chib. Is it a guarantee? No. So don't wait for that. Right? But, you know, once again, like, just take profits on crop board. Like, if Pepe has, like, a 40% day, like it did last like last week, <laughs> sell a little bit of it, right? Throw it in the bank. Or go buy some Bitcoin with it. Whatever, whatever your goal is, right? It is what it is. Uh, but shout, shout out to Jim. Shout out to Jim. I have, like I said, dude, I have I, price predictions are pointless. 
uh, price predictions are always going to be wrong. Either they're going to be too low or too high. So I, I have I have no clue, man. No clue. Oh, hold on. Don't tell Bob. Mexi maintenance. Let's take out the shorts. <laughs> we got Mexi maintenance going on. Let's take out all these shorts up here. Ronk. I like, I like it. I like it a lot. Look at that. Look at that candle though, man. Shit, man. Bitcoin dumped 7% from the high today and has bounced back 5% back to the upside. All in one day. It's, that's, a, that's a lot of movement in one day for a, 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 a $1.3 trillion asset <laughs> to move 12% in a day. That's pretty crazy, man. It's pretty crazy, man. They, they, they said that Bitcoin would, the higher Bitcoin goes, the less volatile it will get. It seems like it's just getting more volatile. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it shouldn't move 12%. A $1.3 trillion asset should not move 12% in a day. You know, like that, that, that should just not happen, right? In theory. Mr. Mario, what's up, man? Can you look at Layer AI? Got in today's mini dip. 27 million market cap still. It has a biggish following online. A bigish? Not big, bigish. <laughs> bigish. It has AI in the name, man. It's going to be good. I, 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 it, it, it's, it's, it has AI in the name. Once again, we're not going to mid curve this, bro. Mid curve says, what, what, what does this coin do? That, that's what the mid curver said about FET. What does FET actually do with AI? Does FET actually do anything with AI? Bro, no one gives a shit. FET doesn't do shit. <laughs> it's been one of the better gainers on the bull so far. It doesn't do shit, right? Don't overthink it. Whatever, whatever coin you just said, layer AI. Noobs will go and say, oh, it's AI. We're going to pump it because AI is hot, right? When, when all the AI coins are pumping, right? Don't, don't, don't mid-curve it, man. No one cares what the coin does. The longer I'm in this market, the more I understand that fact, that no one cares what the coin does. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's the simple fact of the matter. All right. Uh, let's, look, let's look at some Bitcoin pair charts. Let's look at some Bitcoin pair charts. Let's do this, man. All coins are meme coins. Yes, the, the sooner you realize that all altcoins are meme coins, you will you will perform better in the market because you're gonna stop overthinking it. <laughs> right? So let's do this. Let's do this, fellas. All right. Let's look at some Bitcoin pair charts. You guys have any good ones for me? Um, we've looked at a few. We've looked at a few um, that I think are really really good or entering really really good zones. So. Once again, on this channel, I don't want to be a hindsight person. I don't want to say, oh my God, look at this altcoin. It's pumping. I'm bullish on it. We want to be bullish on things before everyone else is bullish on things. Because that's how you make money. You make money being bullish on things that are bullish before everyone else is bullish. Not after the pump. At that point, you're just exit liquidity, right? I think, honestly, I got to say... There's a lot of good ones out there actually right now because I honestly think we're, 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 at, we're very, very close to like altcoin season where you're going to see almost every altcoin outpace Bitcoin. So it's not hard to find a good a good Bitcoin chart. I really do like, um, we talked about this one yesterday, but I actually really do like, um, Cosmos, BTC. Um, I think this one is just a nice range. It, it, it's, it's a nice range where you can play this pretty easily, right? 2019, big pump against Bitcoin. 2020, big pump against Bitcoin. We're now entering back in that box, okay? So accumulating coins that are at support against Bitcoin before they get the move is the way to go, right? So I think this one's entering a good one. Um, this is just one example. I think this is a perfect example of what we should be looking for, right? Don't wait to walk and then you say, wow, Adam's bullish, <laughs> right? Get in at support. Um, so I think Adam looks good. 
The other one that I think looks really good is, and we've talked about this one for a long time. Is this, yeah, we've talked about this one for a long time. Is Matic, right? Is Matic. Once again, playing the ranges. Playing the ranges, right? Range highs, range lows. I think Matic set a good level to start outpacing Bitcoin. It's been, dude, it's been a slow grind now. <laughs> it's tested your will. But I think even even weathering this storm, right, where Bitcoin's been moving up, and I mean, Matic's still been moving up. Matic's at a local high, I think, today, right? It's at a high, but it's not been moving up faster than Bitcoin. I still think you're going to outpace Bitcoin even weathering this storm at support, right? So um, Matic, I think, is, is a really good level too. And, you, dude, you can find these, these on almost everything man elmo coin elmo oh my god elmo <laughs> elmo coin I, I just like the name i like the name man i like the name elmo coin it doesn't even show up but i like it is it literally elmo if it is i'm bullish on it <laughs> it probably doesn't do shit but you know who knows? Who knows? Um, what's some other? Oh, we talked about polka dot dot BTC dot BTC, dude. Oh my god, dot looks dude dot polka dot looks so bullish right here, man. Oh my god, this actually would be my one of my, my my favorites right here. But you guys see everything that I'm seeing, like take everything into account, right? Take where Bitcoin is. Take where Bitcoin is. Take what's happened to altcoins in previous cycles after Bitcoin's broken all-time highs. Usually it takes a few weeks after Bitcoin breaks all-time highs. Okay, so you got to have a little patience in that time frame. But take, look at Bitcoin break all-time high in 2020, where altcoins were, which were not really doing much, right? Kind of consolidating. And then a few weeks later, boom, they smashed all the way to all-time highs, right? In like literally three months. And then look at where the altcoin pair charts are, which are all at support against Bitcoin. And come up with your thesis. You might agree with me, you might not agree with me. That's okay, but I, at least I have the data to back up why I think alts are gonna start outpacing Bitcoin here very, very soon. Because they're all at support against Bitcoin on the Bitcoin pair charts, right? But the dot dot looks freaking phenomenal. Ready to rock and roll. <laughs> what's another one? What's, what's another good one? INJ, dude, INJ BTC is just a straight line up for the most part. <laughs> Actually, lately it hasn't been. It's been going down. INJ BTC. Let's see. Okay. INJ BTC. I actually want to see if this thing at the bull market support band. Okay, it is. Perfect. So um, where have we seen bounces on injected Bitcoin? Right? Bull market support band, bounce. Sideways. Bull market support band, bounce. Sideways. Bull market support band, bounce bounce pull back right we've now come back into that bull market support band so i think if you're going to see the next leg on injective i think we've gone sideways for long enough i think if you're going to see the next leg on injective it's going to be you know probably within the next you know you know one two three weeks in here before injective gets that new and you got the weekly stock rsi bottomed out right which has also been a kind of an indicator for another bounce to the upside so I think you got some good stuff on INJ BTC. Nice little pullback. Just, but it's it's pretty much just been a kind of consistent ride up here. <clears throat> it's been pretty good. Balance, baby. Cos. <laughs> I love when I bring up Cos because I know I know just I know Miles. Oh my god! I know Miles is gonna go, and Bass gonna go. <laughs> It's going to be like that Spider-Man meme, like, <laughs> pointing to each other. All right, cost, BTC. Oof. Oh, let, me, let, me, let me get a better one in here. Okay, that's not what we want to see. Come on, there's got to be a better... That's the, look, cost is moving up. <laughs> Let's see, cost, BTC. It's the only one we have? Okay. Um... I had run into it. 
Yeah, cost, man. I mean, the only thing I could say about cost, I did buy some cost at support. I'm up on that buy. But this, this is just guys, this is just another lesson. When was everyone jerking off the cost? Right? And this this is not a shot, okay? But when was everyone starting to jerk off on cost? Right here. <laughs> right? So <laughs> just remember, man. Just remember, man. You know, this is not a shot, but I, you know, remember the time frames in November when I was jerking off the cost. Everything else, everything else is mooned for the most part. Um, but yeah, man. I don't know. I think this thing, this thing is, you took the wick, I guess. This thing's probably coming down to at least here, I gotta think. Right? A little bit longer to go. Probably gets a bounce, though. I mean, you, you gotta, I mean, you gotta assume that if, if everything else is at support, I mean, cost has gotta bounce against Bitcoin, too. You, 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 you gotta think. You gotta think that if this is coming right here, whoop. Right? Eventually, I'll get a bounce. Just because I, I think altcoins are going to be bullish, right? So right here is where I'd be bullish. So you probably got a little bit more lower to go on the cost BTC chart. And then you probably get a little bounce in that support level there. <clears throat> Which, is, like I said, doesn't, it really doesn't look that bad. But... <laughs> Maybe I'll divert some funds back to Ren. Yeah, divert the funds back to Ren. Do that, do that, do that, do that. Okay. Uh, I know you guys love to look at Bitcoin. Who actually likes to look at Bitcoin pair charts? Anyone who's new, do you not understand why this is important? Like, I think when you're new to the market, you think, okay, let's go look at USD. Look at Link USD. It's up. It's bullish. Every coin's up. For the, I mean, like, on, on the higher enough time scale, you know? That's why, like, I've noticed that the people who are in this market the longest start to look at Bitcoin pair charts a lot more than they actually even look at the, the look at the um, look at the USD charts. Because, like, and I'm I'm saying this as someone who really likes TA, but like at the same time, like. An ape can sit here and say, oh my God, look, Doge or, or AVAX, it gonna go, <laughs> you know, but what, what coin's going to go up the most? That's not, that's the hard thing to do, you know, and that, that's why you use the Bitcoin pair charts to see which coins will pump the most, not what coin will pump, what coin will pump the most, right? All right. Uh, pairs. You're confusing the noobs looking at Bitcoin. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit, I am. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. All right, guys. What is it, 752? Shit, man. We need some more pumps, man. We need some more pumps in this bitch. I, I think we need some more pumps in this bitch. Anyone else agree? <laughs> Elmo coin. Cardano was dead. I wouldn't say Cardano was dead. Cardano's not dead. No, I mean, I don't think there's really any dead coins, really. So you guys can give me one dead coin. I don't say Cardano's dead. Cardano's at a local high. Cardano's not dead. <laughs> You'd be a little dramatic. Cardano actually looks looks not too bad. Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. We're going to Franco's top prediction. We are going to Franco's top prediction, which is $2.60. That's where we're going. BTC NVIDIA would be good to watch after the halving into rate cuts. Ooh, that's a good one, actually. Bitcoin NVIDIA. Can we look at this? Oh, it's going to be NVDA. This is Bitcoin NVIDIA. Wait, this is actually, is this actually Bitcoin NVIDIA? This doesn't make sense. This isn't actually Bitcoin NVIDIA. Hold on. BTC 
Everyone trolling XRP. <laughs> dude, but the thing is, you know, normally I'd say, dude, everyone's trolling XRP. I agree. Everyone is trolling XRP. Um, but here, here's what I'll say, man. People have been trolling XRP for a long time. <laughs> it hasn't mattered. How long on this chain have we trolled XRP? Has it done anything? No. XRP is like the one coin where everyone can troll and it still doesn't do shit. <laughs> you know? And, and I'm hoping me talking shit about it eventually does make it do something for the XRP holders. I, I really am rooting for it, man. I, I I really am rooting for it, man. I really am. And I, I think there's going to be a day where you get a pump on XRP. I just don't think it's now. How do we know this? Or I, how, 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 how can we come up with the thesis that it's... The XRP is not ready to pump yet. Simple. Look where it's had its biggest pumps. Right here. It's not ready yet. It's not ready yet, fellas. Right? So while all the XRP influencers say massive spring phase coming for XRP, I, I think there will be a time where you, you can say massive spring phase coming for XRP. I just don't think it's right now. I think you got to... Like if you're an XRP lover and community member, <laughs> the community member. If you're an XRP community member, right? For whatever reason, you know, maybe you're you're you have to be a community member, or you just love XRP for some reason. I don't I don't know why, but you just love XRP. I think you you got a little bit longer to wait in here, but I I, I think you're gonna have your day. I I, I do think you're gonna have your day when it gets into this box, just like it always does, right? Has its day, has its day, has its day. But I think you get a little bit longer to go on XRP. But what I noticed about XRP, XRP is usually like the last coin to pump. In 2017, it was like, it, it, it always was the last coin to pump. In 2020, it didn't move. And then if you guys remember, like in March of 2020, it like got that big pump up. It was one of the last ones to pump, right? So I, I can assume is XRP will be the last one to pump again for whatever reason. I think it's just because it'll be not pumped and everything else will be. And so it's like, okay, we got to pump XRP. We got, <laughs> it's the only one we can pump still. It, it will have its day. It will have its day. It will. Um, <clears throat> don't get me wrong. It will have its day. Just, I, I don't think it's going to be right now. Right. So when it rips, it's time to sell. It's a good, it's a good top signal too, DJ. Uh. Uh. XRP going at least five bucks. Your mom, I'm rooting for you. I, I, I really am rooting for you, man. I really am for. But, but my thing is. Okay, we're not, we're, actually, we're not gonna go. <laughs> we're not gonna go there. <laughs> we're not gonna go there. My thing was it comes to XRP. Like, I don't know. Okay, we're not we're not gonna go there. We're, we're gonna stop that because we're gonna go down a dark path here. Okay. Um. I I really hope it goes to five bucks. I hope it goes to ten bucks. I really do. I really do. I hope it goes to f the five hundred eighty five bucks that Bitboy was project projecting in twenty twenty one. 585 bucks. I, I, I really that I hope it does that for you. Wow, Nier. Dude, Nier is a freaking beast. I, I've i been very adamant. Nier is my number one layer one holding. Okay? Why? It's not just because they're, they're starting to do stuff with AI. Okay? So any... And, and this, this just comes to not mid-curving it. Okay? Near started to do stuff with AI. As soon as I heard that, dude, that that was that was that was the click. That was the click, man. That was the click. Anything that you got to understand what's going on in the world, right? AI is changing the world. So any coin that has anything to do with AI is going to outperform everything else. It, it it it's it's just that simple sometimes. So I think you're you're just seeing near freaking go berserk right now. Berserk. Zerk, man. But yeah, Nier has been doing good. I think I did take a little profit here at 750. And I think at this point, 
we look up and as long as Bitcoin doesn't take a shit, like, I mean, like, a, like an actual big shit, not like what it did today. It's not really even a shit. As long as Bitcoin doesn't shit into, like, back into, like, the low 60s or 50Ks, you got to think. You got to think the next level is all-time high. You got to think the next level is all-time high on near. You know? Look at the weekly. This was the big level, man. You got to think it's going all-time high. As long, as long as Bitcoin doesn't take a shit. If Bitcoin takes a shit, this thing will pull back too. <clears throat> um, Super Say, what, what is changing the world of recent times? Memes and AI. It really is it's obvious. It's true. AI and people love memes. Whether it's just on social media, people love memes. You know, people love memes, man. I love memes. Memes make you laugh, you know? Doge was AI before AI was creative. Hugh said, I feel like my position is too small to take profits. Never think that, man. You can't you can't go down that road. Cause because it, it if you if you think your position's too small to take profits, you're <laughs> you're gonna end up holding too long. And then the profits that you do make, one day you'll be like, shit, that actually was a decent amount of profits. You know, and you know, like say near, right? Say say you were buying near somewhere in here, okay? And you're up, woohoo, let's go. And let's just say let's just say it goes up here, right? Let's just do a hypothetical. It goes to twenty bucks. You're like, my positions, I can't take profits. I didn't make enough on this. It's too small. You can't think that way, because if you made a crap load on this, and then it starts. You know, let's just do a hype. Let's say this is the top, 20 bucks. I don't think it will be, but let's say it is. Comes up, boop, boop, and that's the top, and you start the bear like this. Then you're going to say, shit, man. Why didn't I just take a little off the board, even a little bit? Even your initial investment, right? Even your initial investment. And at least you had that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Never think too small is too small. But also... Take profits does not mean sell everything, guys. I want to make that clear too. You don't want to sell everything too early. You can also sell things too early. Take profits means take incremental small profits on the coins that are pumping, right? Not like, okay, Nears up, I'm selling everything. <laughs> you don't want to sell too early during a bull too. <clears throat> My 10 bucks, it's the daily close. Hold on. The daily close. Yeah, it's the daily close, mother. All right, so Bitcoin closed the daily at a measly, 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 measly seventy-one thousand. Uh, three seventy-two. Okay. 71,372. A measly, measly, measly. 72,372. Daily close. Right. So, volatile day, man. Big dump, big pump. It's actually a lot like this day where we had this big dump. It came back up. And the next day we made a new high. So, would I be shocked tomorrow if Bitcoin comes up and makes a new high? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Especially because... What do we do? We double back tested the previous all time high. So we've now flipped, right? We, we, we bring this back to old Jordan times. We flipped old resistance. We flipped old resistance into new support. Old resistance into new support. Not one time, but two. Okay? Old resistance into new support, baby. All right? So, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, we'll see if Bitcoin can move up. It, that, that, was a, that was a pretty crazy day, though. Um, I think a lot of people, and this is, what, this is what fuels the rally higher, right? So what happens here on these dips is people get super scared, right? People get super scared. So what happens is, you know, you got people FOMO winning up here. Bitcoin dumps. They panic sell down here. 
right? People who are bullish and have conviction, they come in, they scoop up Bitcoin here, right? And then those same people who panic sold here then have to buy higher, which then forces the price higher, right? Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat until eventually every, everyone's in, right? So um, another, you know, another little flush, another day. And um, I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good where the market is right now. I, I like this little double tap on the all-time high. Shiva Blaster said, have you ever been in debt? If so, what did you get out of it and how? I think those types of stories are good motivators to keep investors focused. Um, I've never been in debt per se, um, but I think if if you're in that position, um, <laughs> there's two ways you can go about it, right? But I think you got to find a way to pay off that debt first, right? I, I think, and this this goes against, I guess, what people will say, but. I think before you can focus on making big investment decisions, you got to pay off that debt first. So the biggest thing you got to do is figure out a way to make more money, right? How do how can you make more money to pay off that debt, right? So then you can then focus all your additional income on investments and not paying off that debt, right? Especially if it's credit card debt. Dude, if it's credit card debt, you don't want to be paying 20% interest on that credit card, bro. You're gonna, it, it, that shit's just gonna keep piling up. <laughs> Bless you. Pay off your debt first and then go <laughs> play with shit coins, okay? Um, but yeah, the, the biggest thing you can do is find, find, figure out a way, whether it's getting a second job, whether it's um, just busting your ass for a little bit. Sometimes, you know, sometimes, you know, you just gotta bust your ass for a little bit. You gotta sacrifice for a little bit, you know? And you just got to bust your ass, get some calluses, as Clint would say, you know, and that's what it comes down to, man, sometimes, you know, um, 20% gains. <laughs> What's pumping right now? We got, we got sold, but that's what I would say, bro. That's what I would say. Shiva Blaster. Um, I know it sounds simple, but like, that's really what it comes down to. You can't pay off debt if you don't make the money to pay off the debt, right? So, uh, let's see. The grind and the hustle. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. But it's a good question, man. It's a good question. It's a good question, man. Um, all right, so, oh, hold on. Let me go back and look at Soul. I want to look at Soul. Dang, look at Soul. Dang. Look at Soul. Look at freaking soul, man. Shit. Soul keeps blasting. Dang. Layer one. It's layer one season, boys. <laughs> it's layer one season. Avax. Phantom. Even do even the even the Doge. Even the Doge. Can you look at Squid Grow? Bro, we are not looking at Squid Grow. <laughs> but, but would I be shocked if Squid Grow actually pumps again? No. That's crypto for you. <laughs> would I be shocked if like Squid Grow was like one of the best gators? No. That's what happens sometimes. The, the, those coins that like rug pull, sometimes they come back from the dead and they actually start pumping. That's crypto for you, you know? Uh, Panty drop incoming? Uh, maybe. Um, can you please poke Zeta? <laughs> Zeta, <laughs> let's look at Zeta. Zeta, yeah, just going sideways. Just going sideways. Sideways, sideways, sideways. It, it, but but honestly, like I'm telling you, these ones are the ones you don't want to dump. 
right? These are the ones you want to ride because I'm telling you, the ones that have been going sideways for a while, like this, will get the next leg. Well, then everything else does their sideways move. And then, you know, and then you'll be pissed off at this coin while Zeta's pumping, right? Rinse and repeat. Um, these are the ones that the ones that are doing like these little formations, especially this. Like this is this is, I guess, one of your just classic like um, what do they call this? The 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 broadening wedge, which is actually a a, a bullish formation. Um, the broadening wedge, right? This thing, this thing is gonna move up, man. But like, yeah, don't don't be patient on the ones that go sideways for a bit because those are the ones that'll get the you know move up, retrace, move up, retrace. You know. <clears throat> Zeta holding strong. Most 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 alts held held pretty good today. I, I I think I think it's the shift in the market. I think it's the shift. Bitcoin actually moved down more than a lot of alts did today. You you would I got I would never expect that because I would expect if Bitcoin moved down like this, people would be shitting their pants. You actually really didn't see that today. You actually saw more Bitcoiners shitting their pants than altcoiners today. To be quite honest. It, it, it was it was a very interesting day today. I call it the expanding dong. It is it is a nice expanding dong too. It's a nice expanding dong. Like you got the shaft, the shaft, the head is bigger than the shaft. That's how you know it's a nice dong. Right, let me just do one of these. Wonk. Yep. There we go. It's like an ice cream cone. That shit is gonna melt. <laughs> Actually, why don't it melt this way? <laughs> <laughs> melt this way okay <clears throat> when bitcoin dominance top dude bitcoin dominance has been doing nothing for so long i i hope it decides which way it's going dude it's been going sideways bitcoin dominance i hope it decides which way it wants to go pretty soon like look at bitcoin dominance bro this shit has been just freaking maddening I hope it makes a decision. It's been doing nothing since October, right? Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. I hope we can decide what we want to do. Do we want to have Bitcoin continue its rally? Or do we want to have altcoin season start? I'm still under the assumption that we're going to see one more Bitcoin dominance push up to hit this trend line. Right? So this was the start of altcoin season. This was the start of altcoin season. I'm still to the assumption that we're going to get one more push up on Bitcoin dominance. And then we start, and then we see, I don't know if it's going to be this steep this time. I really don't know if it's going to be this steep this time. But like I, I then I think we start to see the, the downtrend on Bitcoin dominance. <clears throat> so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm hoping for something, dude. It's been, we've been going sideways on dominance for six months. Make, make a decision, please. Whales, do you want to pump Bitcoin? You want to pump alts? Make a decision. Pretty please. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Cowan gave up charting it. <laughs> you can't do anything with it, man. It's just it's it's just been doing nothing. Um Momotes. Momotes said then I'm selling 50% of my Bitcoin at the soul and near. 50% of your Bitcoin in the soul near right now. Um, yeah, you can do that. I'm just, I'm, I'm holding my Bitcoin in my ults. So that I'm positioned, like either way, like I, I want to make sure I'm positioned for either scenario or, you know, the, 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 the cycle's the same, which I'm, I'm a believer in the cycle's the same. I think from this point, we'll see old coins outperform Bitcoin. That's my, that's, that's what I believe. But I also want to be make sure I hold Bitcoin too in case the the this cycle is different, right? Which that this cycle is different. People, you know, think the ETF is going to make it so Bitcoin just pumps and altcoins don't outperform Bitcoin here. So I want to make sure I'm I'm prepared for both scenarios, which I think I, I'm 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 pretty well prepared. Um, my altcoins have actually have been outpacing Bitcoin the last few weeks, um, so I think right now. Because of that, 
I think I'm like 35% Bitcoin, 65% old coins right now based on my, my portfolio tracker. But 35% Bitcoin, 65% old coins. Like a couple weeks ago, that was like, dude, I was like 45% Bitcoin, 55% alts. But like Fed and um, Near and uh, Pepe, those ones pumping have like decreased the percentage of Bitcoin a lot. <clears throat> oh, shit, man. Jordan's TA drawing, draw, drawing dongs. Yeah. Right now we're getting a little resistance on this low right here, guys. So um, this could be a little resistance on the corn. So we could see Bitcoin actually come and try to take out this, this little candle here, which, you know, this candle will have liquidity in it. Call it a vector candle, whatever. You probably got to see this get rejected here, come down, try to make a higher low is my guess. And then we'll see if we can get a bounce from there. If we don't, if we continue down, remember, at some point we're going to see Bitcoin get a pullback. Maybe it's now, maybe it's not. We'll see. I'm just going to be ready for both scenarios. <clears throat> I'm 100% chain link. Shit, Blaze. <laughs> Jeez, man. That's crazy, man. He's 100% chain link. Link's another one. Actually, let's look at link. Link BTC. Let's look at Link BTC. Oh, I want to make sure I didn't miss anyone in here. Um, I'm trying to turn my 50k folio into 500k. Doable? I I think it's doable. And if you're if you're, I think that's doable if you're all in alts. I I think that's doable if you're all if you're like degening into alts. Um, if you're 50% Bitcoin, 50% alts, I don't think that, I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, but just know that holding all alts comes with more risk. So it, it's kind of a give or take there. Um, but I think, dude, I mean, a 10 X on your portfolio from here, I don't, I don't think is crazy. It, it, you, it, as long as you got a good mix of high cap altcoins and low cap altcoins, right? So if you're holding like all of AVAX, it's probably a less chance of you doing a 10 X. Right, but if you're holding like, you know, maybe you're holding Soul, AVAX, and then you're holding like, you know, lower cap altcoins too that can do higher multiples, I think I think I think that's totally doable. Totally doable. Like I said, most people forget what a real altcoin season is. Um, look at 2021. Look at 2017. It's basically it's a super short period of time. It's like three months where shit just hits, like shit hits the fan to the upside. You know, it's very quick. It happens very, very quickly. <clears throat> All right, uh, Link BTC. Oh my God, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's not a favorite one too. Link BTC. Yes. Count me in. No, I think I think Link BTC looks good too. At support, right? You broke out of this long. You broke out of this four-year downtrend on Link BTC. Broke out, right? Double bottom tier. Well, hopefully double bottom tier. And and now I think we look for the reversal on Link BTC to the upside here. <clears throat> but yeah, Link BTC. Mm, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Jesus on soul. <laughs> God damn it, man. Jesus. <laughs> Patricia. Hi, Jordan. Thanks for the awesome live as always. Could you please check out Chappies? Low cap, low market cap, which Joe Perry's crypto YouTube suggested could go to 100, 100, 100 to 1,000x. <laughs> Who is Joe Perry's crypto? 100 to 1,000x from here. Here's what I'll say. Jesus. 1,000x? Very unlikely. Very unlikely. Very, very unlikely. What, what is this? Chappie's coin. It's, it's probably a meme. It's probably a meme. 
thousand X. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, okay. <laughs> Look at all the meme coin shills. I love it. I love it, man. Can you check out Avo? I think we looked at that the other day, no? Oh my god. It's a new coin. I don't know anything about it. It's gonna consolidate here for a little bit, probably. Because it's new. I think if you if you get any moves below if you get any moves below here that's where you pick it up right take out all the people if you get any moves underneath here that's probably where you pick some up <clears throat> if you're not already in just because we're in a bowl right so you don't want to get too greedy to the downside you also don't want to fomo but if you get any moves underneath these support levels maybe where you scoop some up <clears throat> oh my god too many too many meme coin shills, guys. God damn it. No meme coin shills. No meme coin shills. Skillful said, when cat memes get... Dude, when will the cat lovers... You cat lovers don't actually love cats. Rant I, alert. I gotta rant about this again today. You cat lovers don't actually love cats. Look at all the dog coins pumping, bro. Doge. Shib. Bonk. Whiff with a hat. Where are you cat lovers pumping the cat coins? You guys don't actually love cats. You don't. Because if you did, the cat coins would pump too. And I'm pissed because I own pussy. I own some pussy. Lord almighty, you cats don't, you cat lovers don't actually love cats. Why is every meme coin that pumps besides Pepe a freaking dog? <laughs> Pump pussy, man. Pump pussy. YouTube's gonna come after me because I'm yelling pump pussy. Um, cat or better than dogs. Okay, pump your cat coins then. Pump one cat coin and I'll believe you. Um... Jordan, hit up ACH. I had a pickle today. Let's look. ACH. Let's see. Damn. Holy guac. Look at that shit. Horse guy, eh. <laughs> Hoffs. Oh. I, I got PTSD, man, okay? <laughs> All right, so uh, ACH. ACH. Um, damn. Right into weekly, right into weekly, uh, weekly resistance. But man, what a move, what a move, what a move. We got the ice cream truck. <laughs> The ice cream truck. Yeah, ACH right into weekly resistance, man. That's awesome. Strap up. We're going to the moon. Good pump. Wait, Jordan, pause the stream. Can we go get the ice cream? We go? Where'd he go? Oh, he's gone now. We missed the ice cream guy. <laughs> Can we get the ice cream? Oh. Sounds... You guys hear the ice cream truck? I don't know if you do. It's the ice cream truck outside. Come on, big car! Come on, big car! <laughs> Come on, Bitcoin! Your mom said I need cock in me ASAP. George has got some cock. No, George has got a big bag of cock. You want some cock? It's probably the only Asian out there with a big ass cock. <laughs> all right, man. All right. Strap up. We're going to the moon. Oh, shit, man. Quickly, you must FOMO. Um, what you guys? All right, what is it? 8.30? Come on, man. I want some pumps. <laughs> all 
All right, Bitcoin's moving up again, guys. 71,750. Um, is it gonna be a repeat of this big flush? Like, if you look at all the big flushes, and, and, and not, not, all the, not all the big flushes in the toilet, <laughs> it kinda sucks. <laughs> all right, but if you look at all these big flushes, right? Big flush, new high, right? Flush, new high. Flush, new high, flush. Is this, is this going to be, <laughs> is this going to be another one of those flushes that we just go up and make a new high? I say I wouldn't be surprised tomorrow if Bitcoin's at a new high, right? So um, we'll see what happens tomorrow, guys. But I think um, we're in a good spot. I think what was what was very positive about today is Bitcoin flushed the toilet, right? So Bitcoin took about a seven percent dump in the toilet flushed, but actually altcoins held up better and some of them actually pumped, which I think is a sign that you're seeing people flip crypto natives, taking some profits on Bitcoin and throwing those on the altcoin market, okay? So I think I think we got some good signs going on the market, man. I remain bullish um, from the simple fact that the weekly chart is still bullish and from the simple fact that whenever Bitcoin has broken all time highs on a weekly close, We've seen Bitcoin actually make a 100% move from that point. This time could be different. Totally could be. I could be wrong. I admit that. I'm wrong all the time. But I'm going to respect what's happened in the previous cycles, okay? So um, I think we're in a good spot, guys. I think we're in a good spot. Um, altcoin panic sellers will cry, in my personal opinion. Come on, Pepe. Let's go, man. Show, show the dogs a new meme animal, okay? We want a new meme animal, even though I love dogs. But we want a new meme animal. Cat. Frog, horse, whatever it is, okay? But anyways, guys, I'm going to call it a night. Um, stay easy. Stay cool. I'll be back uh, tomorrow, 7 p.m. for a nice Friday night stream. I'll probably actually have a few beers or something tomorrow night during the stream. Uh, chill out. Hopefully, we got Bitcoin at a higher price. Um, but like I said, guys, take it easy. Stay cool. Happy Thursday. And cheers to another freaking volatile last day, man. All right? Peace out, fellas. And... Before I go, we'll play my favorite song. This is my favorite song. Franco made me like this song, okay? And I love this song now, okay? Get ready for phase F, motherfuckers. You liked phase E? Get ready for phase F. Because it's going to be lit. Later. hide it under the table, man. I don't know why I hide it under the table. I really don't know why I hide it under the table. I'm so weird, man.